Good morning, everyone. How are you doing? Well, I guess depending on where you are, it could be afternoon or it could even be Sunday. Um, welcome. Welcome to the Igloo. I am the Iceman, and we are going to continue our Dishonored playthrough um, this morning. It is 10 a.m. here on the East Coast of the U.S. We are doing the Royal Physician meeting, which I think mission which is mission soon mission three or four i think maybe four we're looking for the mistress of the lord regent and the previous mission which we did last night was at the golden cat where we took down um pendleton's two brothers and we rescued emily so emily is back in safe hands so yeah, let's see. Let's uh, let's switch the screen here so we can get started. We're making our way now across the the Caldwin Bridge, I believe. So we started it last night. About the last half hour of the stream last night, we got started. Yeah, Caldwin's Bridge. We got started here. Yeah, here's the description of the mission here. The royal physician you've been asked to abduct. Anton Sokolov, the royal physician and head of the Academy of Natural Philosophy. Your new allies at the Hound's Pit want to obtain from Sokolov the name of the Lord Regent's mistress, a mysterious ally, and one of his most powerful noble supporters. Sokolov lives in a large apartment somewhere atop Holdman's Bridge. So yeah, we were doing some looking around. Citizens and visitors to our city, by order of I the know region, there's one guy the in here. Is now active. No foot traffic is allowed across Caldwin's Bridge until curfew is lifted. I think he's the No pedestrian movement is allowed. The only person bridge during this period. Curfew Left. Will end tomorrow morning at sunrise. I know you're here somewhere, scum. Let's see if we can find a back way. I don't even know if we need to take care of that guy or not. Yeah, so I was wondering last night if that's not. Yeah, it is some place we can get up to, and I wonder that's actually the way we need to go. This looked like there's a door up there, so and yeah, we took care of these two guys here. They're taking a nap. spotlights which we need we need to take out the take out those spotlights because Samuel asked us to do that when he dropped us off because it'll make him make it easier for him to our city. pick us By up when we're done the curfew is now active no foot traffic is allowed across Caldwin's bridge until curfew is lifted Attention all citizens. No pedestrian movement North is end. allowed along Caldwin's Bridge during this period. Curfew will end tomorrow morning at sunrise. He has to see reason. <coughs> Let's just see what happens if I get another crack at this guy. Should be the last guy in the area. See if we can dump the body somewhere. Oh, 
looted him once. Anything else down here? Oh, nice. Twenty-five coin. Everything that I need. This area, there was a. I think it was a relic up in this room up here. That was like the last Citizens thing that we did last night. To our city. By order of the region, the curfew is now active. No foot traffic is allowed across Caldwin's Bridge until curfew is lifted. Attention, all citizens. No pedestrian movement. Allowed along Caldwin's Bridge during this period. Curfew will end tomorrow morning at sunrise. Oh, let's, um, hmm. Let's take a peek in here first. I wanted to go back over to the. Do that yet. Wanted to go back over here. Let's see what's up there. Yeah, so that, like I said, I think it looks like there's a door over there. Sorry, I didn't mean to throw you active. over the ledge. No foot traffic is allowed across Caldwin's Bridge until curfew is Nice, okay, bone charm in here. Attention all citizens. No pedestrian movement is allowed. That's probably all that's here. During this period, curfew will end tomorrow morning at sunrise. Bone Charm Whirlwind. What does this one do for us? Swing your sword slightly faster. We're trying to avoid fights, so that's probably not going to get used. out we can potentially grab it
on. Grab a save before we transition to the new area. Throats and smashing windows left and right, and the weakness, excuse me, the plague victims. Are you saying the Lord Regent is wrong for imposing curfew? It won't do you any good to bait me, officer. But don't worry, I'll be fine. I'll profit. A smart man can come out ahead, even in the time of plague. Sure, like that so This is big. He's doing fine. Always a lot of exotic items coming and going from his place. Keeps this place running. At least for now. Yes, yes. If by exotic you mean foul smelling as a witch's bottle, the royal physician will be fine too until he crosses the wrong man. <clears throat> Two runes. Expensive looking plate we can pilfer. I should cut them out entirely, all of them. That happened so many damn times. Come out now, or I'll call the city watch. I will find you soon enough. I demand that you show yourself. That damn text out of the way so I can see where he is. Behave, thank you for the host. Thank you, thank you. Welcome everybody from the hive. Let's close the doors. So I've got some reading to do here. The young prince of Tivia. 
that's fine. Good morning. I'm sure you feel like garbage right now. <laughs> Thank you for being here. Oh, excuse me. How did it go yesterday? Okay. The young prince of Tivia, Lord Nathan Bale, shaking with outrage. How dare you, sir? Clothed in my, my so, clothed so, in my very home. I should hand you over to the watch, depraved Tivian. Prince Kalasar, moving closer. Harsh welcome for reality, my lord. Daughter treated me with much more hospitality. Alas, she has gone out for the evening, leaving me all alone. Lord Nathan Bale, stammering, studying the younger man before him. What are you doing? Leave this house. Go back to your frozen wasteland, pale rascal. Prince Kalasar, smiling coyly, reaching out. No need for anger between us, Lord Bale. Is it so wrong for me to be here? As I've proven, I've developed an affinity for you and your family. This seems familiar. Lord Nathan Bale, gasping. Oh my, Kalasar, your skin is so warm, it burns. Right, the other one is literally right above me. in here yeah I mean I can't I can't even imagine what that feels like Ooh. It's another group simoleons oh that's food that's not a Go upstairs and get the room up there. Anybody else up here? It's a reminder. It's got the seal on it. Remember that the truth is in the paintings. Best way to the best the way to the truth starts in the crowded streets. Continue until you see an anchored whaling ship. From there, find the slaughterhouse. Truth will to you. <laughs> it's in the safe, you bastards. The Isle of Morley. It is said that the history of Morley is as colorful as a quilt made from all the flags ever flown and all the clothes ever worn. The land itself hides from the sun under the layer of under a layer of clouds. Thick gray moss hangs from the trees, but the spirit of the people who live in Morley dances like the firelight. Among the people, the love of good food and drink is legendary, with stews and roasted meat dishes, most often used to fight off the cold and the dreariness. The nation has a rich tradition of poets, musicians, and philosophers, even among the poorest folk. Intellectual tomes and bar songs alike were often penned in Morley. A late entry into the empire, the insurrection is still a sore point for many natives, and independence is a proud character trait among the people. did find this combination to Galvani's safe.
is didn't take the combination to the artist back to Slackjaw yet. Yeah, I completely forgot to do that before we came over here. I'm hoping we'll be able to do that when <clears throat> the next time we go back to the Hound's Pit, that after this mission. It's a six. Well, we can try the six nine six. in there, I guess. <laughs> I'll believe it, sir. I'm gonna find you at some point. Come on. That's the only way to get in there. Gotta be around here somewhere. It's too blank. Did he go? Hey, DJ Master, how you doing? Welcome. Good morning. I love it. I think, although sometimes the um, the detection. Somebody you're trying to sneak up on is a little sensitive. I don't know how many times so far I've 
tried to sneak up on somebody like I just did with this guy. And he would just have no reason to stop walking. And he'd just all of a sudden turn around and then I would have to either fight him or blink away since I'm trying to low chaos play through. Usually just blink away and come back. Yeah, as I've mentioned, I mean, I've had these. I've got all three of them. I'm uh, playing on Xbox. <clears throat> I've had them all forever. I just never got around to playing them until now. So maybe that ledge is the only way in. It's not like, wow, that's a hell of a bridge. You are here. All right, so we're going the upper right corner, I guess. Yeah. Yeah, because we got dropped off at 1. That's where Samuel dropped us off. It is the only way in. bad. This 
is what I came here for. Right here. Uh-oh. Rivers change course over many lifetimes. And eventually all bridges. First time we've seen him since the first time. A thousand years ago, there was another city on this spot. The people carved the bones of whales into runes and inscribed them with my mark. Yeah. Children still find them washed up in the river mud. Anton Sokolov has made a great study of my runes, but he's not special like you are. He wasn't chosen and he doesn't wear my mark, so he can't unlock their secrets. Sokolov believes there are specific words and acts that can compel me to appear before him. He searches old temples in Pendicia and ruined sub-basements in the flooded district. He performs disgusting rituals beneath the old abbey. But if he really wants to meet me, he could start by being a bit more interesting. <laughs> Still pulsing. Oh, the one in the safe. The one out of the safe. Journal entry part three. Let's see how many we got here. Not that many. Haven't found the combination yet. Journal entry part three. Maybe we get it on the way out to the objective and then we can come back and unlock it on the way back. 18th day, month of rain. My cousin came, but we fought over it. When I came into the room, he was holding it. I screamed at him, and we fought. Now I am filled with remorse. Sixth day, month of rain. Still sitting in the corner, across from the candles. He was a thief. Second day, month of wind. I wonder how he knew about it. Coming to dinner was a trick. Maybe he told others. Seventh day, month of wind. Barricades in the halls outside. It is safe now. Eleventh day, month of wind. The watch came, taking people away. Neighbors. Someone in the building has the rat plague. Gone now. He promises to protect me. Each night, promises. this one. Part one. Journal entry part one. Nineteenth day. Month of seeds. What will I do? She left and took her things back to her family as if that will help. The plague will get us all. Third day. Month of nets. I've been offered to work on one of the whaling boats. I'll be leaving this place at last. Later, I will find a place on Tivia to the north. Winters are cold there. No rats. No plague. 28th day, month of nets. Last day of the month. My fortunes have turned. Found something. <laughs> shiny, shiny, and old. Like whale bone, which is supposed to be lucky. Three, two. Okay. Sixth day, month of rain. My cousin Emil is coming soon, bringing a bird to roost going to see if any of the shops are still open. Maybe I could buy apples or potatoes. Tenth day, month of rain. I put my whalebone carving on a shelf. Not see it from some parts of the room, so I made a little pedestal for it. It looks nice. The candle light. Fifteenth day, month of rain. Sometimes I dream about it. In the dreams, it makes sounds like the wind through a broken window. On some nights, the wind sounds like a I was supposed to go to the docks to ship out, but I remembered too late days ago. for the combination. 
station if it's in here. All. It's got to be a painting right there. It has to be. Scoreboard. I wonder if there's anything back over that way. Like it could be a back alley of some kind. Here. Yeah. I'll take a peek. Over here. We need those. Slack jaws. Shipment note. Here's the elixir you need to sell on Caldwin's Bridge this week. Moved everything. Bring the money back to the distillery. Give you your cut. Next week's shipment. If you're too dumb to get and you get caught, throw the elixir in the river so they can't give it to Sokolov. Don't want him figuring out what we're doing. <laughs> then throw yourself in the river too.
else there if we need to. down there, one guy in the shack. I'll write to her again. She has to see reason. Like those three. Let's just see what happens if I get another crack at this. And more on the bridge in the far distance back there. <clears throat> see enough to go go underneath. Got 
close to those things. somewhere. Keep skulking around. I know something's up. Yeah, it's nice. I guess everything's tickety boo. <clears throat> Hide and seek, boys. Can't stay hidden forever. I'll find you, you hagfish. One left. Yeah, it was nice. <coughs> yeah, it was nice. Looks like he's facing away from me. Thank <laughs> you. 
Got a clear in the throat, so he's still body that's alive or awake. go. or not. Okay. Obviously raising it up. Make it easier to get across to where we need to go. the switch.
check the whale no, oil? Somehow. What for? No, the lights are working perfect. Well, there's nothing to do. And I like climbing the pillars. Just leave the oil tanks be, or they'll break. Why they always gotta put me with you, I just don't. Around. I'll get to the bottom of this. <sighs> okay. I don't know if we should grab a save. I don't remember when the lat <clears throat> when the last one was. <laughs> Thank you. It was 45 minutes ago. Gowsers. I didn't want to do all that over again. That's why I save so much. Because it only takes one little screw up. I don't need shit from you. Better make a pass over here. Wow, <laughs> that's a long way down. Even though it says I can make it. Wondering if it might not be a better idea to baby steps. Just no loogie hawking, please. I can deal with anything else. I just don't want to hear that. Ugh. Disgusting. Okay. What the hell is that? First time I've seen one of those. Check everywhere. I gotta stop chewing Aberweed. Probably rat. rat. <laughs> Aberweed? <laughs> what the hell is that? Left handed cigarettes. That, that is disgusting. <laughs> Yeah, 
somebody about. Watch it. Doors? We don't need no stinking doors. Mid row substation. Hmm. Say before we transition, just did one, or did we? We deleted it to make the empty slot, but we didn't use the empty slot. I think I may be the one with chemo brain today. Catching. Okay. Um, I'm always curious. There's, I mean, you guys know I like to be thorough when I go through areas. You leave, you kind of think sometimes you can leave things alone or thinking that maybe on the way back you uh, might be able to get a chance to go back through some of the places that you missed but then you're not really sure but in this level you know Samuel specifically wanted us to take out those searchlights so that he could get back here easily when he comes to get me when I'm done makes me think that I'm gonna have to traverse all of that again to go back <gasps> what's that right there in front of me I say goodies or shall we say the shiny should do I should make the macro button for Ooh, shiny stuff Overseer's music note. <clears throat> Yesterday, an overseer passed in the street near me, playing the strange music from the abbey. Beneath his mask, I could see his face as he turned the crank on his music box, but I could hear his voice muttering verses from the sacred texts. Fear overcame me because it is forbidden to carry bone charms and similar such items for luck. Overseers are completely unforgiving in this matter. Ripping mine in my pocket, feeling its warmth, I walked with my head down. It's heading towards the royal physician's home. That shaggy sokal off, and something odd occurred. I could swear the charm in my hand reacted to the overseer's music, growing cold. Some inner vibration seemed to go still. I found a book that is perhaps related to this, and will study it so that I might understand. And more, 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 more reading, more ancient music. Excerpt from a longer work. Throughout the natural world, there are ripples that we can barely perceive with our senses and ancient music permeating everything as a fundamental structural rule. 
through it, you can work wonders without violating the natural world or begging favors from unfriendly spirits. Throughout my studies, I have found a 17-note scale derived from this phenomenon, and with the right equipment, those notes allow for astonishing effects. Not the least of these is the ability to calm the turbulence originating in the void, which we attribute to the outsider. Interesting, kind of a, like a negation field, sounds like. Watching them turn and turn. What, them wheels? Yes, around and around, like the cycle of life. Such a wondrous symbol of the progress we've made in the history of invention. Ah. Uh. If you say so, sir. We must make sure they keep turning. It would look very bad on your record. Very bad indeed. Should the factory shut down <clears> in March. Yes, sir. <laughs> See a hatch on this one. I was going <clears> to <throat> drop down and get the guy inside. Magic. Coward got away. Where are you? Of course, if they come up here, I'm kind of screwed. When I find you, it's going to be bad. Oh, they can't. Oh, I'll find you. I know you're here somewhere, scum. Looties. Present yourself. Don't make me find you. I could probably have that sound effect. I'm gonna find you, whoever you are, and then I'll demonstrate your failings. Okay, got away. Do that sound effect. Uh, issue the command to, or, you know, issue the command for the emote in chat as well, so you get the. Ooh, shiny stuff, and then I'll you get Toby to with the she has to see reason. bag of loot. So. Uh, 
So he must be coming out there. <laughs> oh, dude. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Yeah, that's the only reason right there is why I was doing the drop assassinations at all. Just to get that. That achievement. Speaking of shiny stuff. Alright, so we got to get past... Pass those. Switch. Nice. Guards just go about their business as if nothing's going on. Oh, they look like they're still on. go guys lunch <laughs> oh come on I brought you guys a present eat him instead of trying to eat me. I can probably just blink past it. Or not. <laughs> Oopsie! 
Maybe I should have saved. Hey, Alien King, what's going on? Welcome. Oh my god, I gotta do all that over again. I'm not reading all this stuff again. Pick it up, but I'm not gonna read it. Just shit. How you feeling this morning? Oh god. Shit. Such a wondrous symbol of the progress we've made for each human adventure. If you say so, sir. And remember, guys, <laughs> we must make sure they keep turning. See, it's like, what the we hell was the point of stopping the turbines? Should the factory shut down in March? Yes, sir. Whiskey and cigars tonight, chances are very good. Probably a waste to do it for that little of an amount, but I'll do it anyway. Okay, do we even need to bother with these guys? I mean, it. Nice for him to not be here when I come back out. I'm assuming, assuming that they would be anyway. Miss Epic, thank you for the host. Welcome to everyone from the Empire. the marker that says I can go there. <laughs> Let me go there. <coughs> Come on. Make your move. <clears throat>
find him. You're going down. Actually, I'm actually I'm trying to go up. I need more men. Flank him. How did we lose him? Get behind him. Take this. Now, where'd he go? Cold pursuit, hmm? I know you're here. I have not heard of that one. Or the other one. What a man want what a man wants. Was that like a romantic comedy or something? The title of that one sounds familiar. Perfect. No, no, that's no. <laughs> want my money. Give it to me. <laughs> the things we go through. A little bit of cash. I, mean, I don't know if I even have to bother. I mean, once you've gotten everybody taken care of in a specific area, if you need to actually... Hide all the bodies... No. No, I would say his toys. Boys and their toys. Uh, yeah, I'm planning to go, let's see, it's 11.30 now here until about 2 o'clock, so another two and a half hours-ish. See how it goes. See how we feel. All right, I think I got everything. Did not go down by the docks, though. Got some more of those. I don't know what these things are supposed to be. Some kind of... Like some kind of spitter. guys right there. Oh, they are. They spit green things at you. If you get too close. Three of them. Are. Oh, sorry. Four. So, yeah, let's not let's not bother with that. But enjoy your lurk. I'll see you when you get back. Ah, that's what we gotta do right here. We gotta get the gotta get the whale oil battery out of it. I guess you have two options. 
I know they mentioned in the description of some of this stuff that you can use the rewire tools yeah to turn <laughs> turn the tide but there's nobody left we can go ahead and put it in there now harm enemies instead of you so that when we come out if if they even respawn even though it's off, <laughs> I'm going to save again. side of his house looks like I don't maybe we can get up there nope. normally it looks like someplace we could reach you'll normally get kind of like flowing arrows doing something like that on a ledge if it will let you go up to it but not that one like that it's kind of weird that we wouldn't let us go over the front Somebody there on their knees. Okay. Like there's a dead body there. Lunch! Do I actually have to kill him? How am I gonna do that? Yeah, I know the rat. Yeah, the rats are kind of disgusting. Rocking your dog mom shirt. You're supposed to save that for tomorrow, right?
doing that shit. Lunch, boys. that good enough for you? First, pick up what I came in here for. Tyrion! Oh my god! <laughs> Game of Thrones crossover! <laughs> you gonna tell us who's gonna wind up on the Iron Throne? 26th day. How long is this? Month of Wind. I finally found a... Pretend I'm reading this in Peter Dinklage's voice. I finally found a new place where I should be able to hide and survive for a long time if I stay quiet. The City Watch condemned the building, so this basement should be a safe spot. I have to believe that. 28th day, month of wind. Everything is going as I expected. Watch patrols in the streets nearby, but they never enter this building. Food is the only problem, but I managed to steal some during the night. Second day, month of darkness. Someone else found this place and wants to share it. As a strange amulet made of bone claims that it protects him from the plague. We'll see. Perhaps we can help each other, but I'm losing confidence in the odds of survival. Fourth day, month of darkness. Since he arrived, I've been having bad dreams and I don't feel really well. There's more and more rats in the building. Soon I won't be able to leave this shack even if I want to. I'm starting to think that this amulet is cursed. Rats. Okay, who might you be? Thank you for helping me. You're welcome. I thought it was safe. There were rats. So many rats completely infested. I know some folks aren't superstitious, but I swear, the rats showed up after a man came through, waving around an amulet of some kind. It looked like it was made of bone. But he's dead now, like the others who were living here. That's it? Gonna give me anything cool? doing the Good Samaritan thing, I suppose. Human! What are you doing, human? Okay, another save. Looks like another transition. Bridge. Pick up corpses or unconscious bodies. Carry them to a hiding place.
Goodness gracious, this level is like huge. Be safe. Go there first. Maybe we can look. Let's see if there's anybody in there before we go in. So it looks like we'll be able to get to the rune before, before the house. Interesting. Dead body with a note, looks like. people in that shoot. Okay. What does this one do? Unnerving target level two. Enemies have a moderate chance to miss with guns. been a problem. Usually as soon as we get into any kind of danger whatsoever, <clears throat> I try to blink out of there as fast as possible. Slightly more health. Oh, we were going to look at this guy over here. Not that. Dead guy up here. Let's 
secret stash tip. Okay. Higgins. I recently got a tip about a stash. Hidden at the north end of Caldwin's Bridge. Another crazy bastard keeping all his shiny stuff. Shiny stuff in a secret room. I was told you need to turn on the faucet in an old sink three times. Open up some kind of secret door. Information on the value of what's in this room. I only heard about a speak street speaker hanging over the road just outside the door. Sorry about that night. Don't forget my share if you find it. That's got to be one of the paintings, right? Has to be. Nowhere. Run. Shit, that's not what I wanted. I'm up here, guys. <laughs> Sorry. No soup for you. Tell me again what you'll do if Slag John and Bottle Soup were each other. Yeah, see now every time I come across a sink, I'm gonna <laughs> I'm gonna turn the right hand one three times.
downstairs. Is this the same place I was just in? him. All right, so this is another way. Is a painting. Ah, oh, really? No, no, I don't need any more combination saves. Supposed to be on duty over here. <clears throat> Don't we risk it? <laughs> Samuel, what are you doing here? Not supposed to be here yet. I hope the night treats you well, Corvo. I'll be here when you have what you came for. I guess since I took care of the lights already. Ready to go. Surprising. Just that guy. City's dead. Won't we'll make it three more months. Conscious. I'll make it three more months. Well, I gotta give him credit for that, at least. Most games, when they come across a dead body or an unconscious body, they just go about their business like nothing's happening. But 
Nobody's on patrol anymore. Is there recognize that here? I want to get a save before I do this. I don't know who these people are. I'm going to guess they're friendly. Just in case they're not. Really? Badly. I don't know who you are or why you did this for me, but listen. Nearby, there's a partially collapsed building. Behind me. Up on what used to be the third floor, right. you'll see a painting. I used to work there. Behind the painting, there's a safe, and the code is 294. Thank you very much. My new best friend. Why can't I get up to these all of a sudden? Certainly be within reach. All right, we'll go the long way.
to do that just yet. Let's see what's over here first. Samuels. Oh, me, I think. I was thinking earlier, it's probably not going to be true again. Another safe. Lord. Safes everywhere. Oh. Can't they all be like that? Inch mouth jewel box. A hundred... hundred simoleons. Let's go for a ride. Oh, hey, we could probably actually do that. I was being completely facetious. That doesn't hit Samuel in the head. We got to try this. <laughs> We're going to go into the house in just a minute, probably after break, but I want to try this to see if it's going to work. <laughs> it has to. It has to. an alternate way to get in. usual about nine or ten minutes I'll stretch my legs and go to the restroom and do all of that stuff and we'll continue we'll go into the house see what's in the house sit tight I shall return
All right, break ties over. Back to work. <laughs> Those of you that are still here, thank you for hanging out. Appreciate your business. Yeah, there's Samuel right over there. Get there from here. Let's go ahead and top off on that. You two, stop chatting and wandering around. Go back to work. <laughs> <Nice>. <laughs> okay. Think you'll get your own squad after what happened last night? Chances are very good. of a damn rat. I believe so.
guys. Oh, we got you, buddy. He's dead now. Well. <clears throat> Never doubt it. Okay, so there's another way in. See that before? <clears throat> Could have come in here. Or at least three ways in. Isn't any good place to dump the bodies unless we take them out the front when nobody's looking. children inside. <clears throat> this whole place has gone to the hounds. Oh, 
Yeah. So you memorize the litany on the white cliff in a night. Is it possible? Undoubtedly. Again, probably way more anal than I need to be. Ow! I'm supposed to drop her. Jeez Louise. children inside I told her yeah, I think you'll get your own squad after what happened last night indeed I believe so why that guy's carrying that thing back and forth and never picks it up or puts it down. Wow, she's gone. Alright, we'll see if... Another one spawns. Things are bad. Worse. Chances are very good. Anything in here? Should we gather for whiskey and cigars tonight? Yes, of course. Hmm. On the roof.
get your own squad after what happened last night? Chances are very good. I don't know that I trust it. I could have done that too, I guess. Throw it and it was going to blow up. side of the wall. Oh, there's two of them over there. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think you give up the option to loot. If you pick them up after knocking them out. carrying that whatever it is he's carrying. Those two guys. Oh, we've got one more. Dude at the bottom. I didn't pay attention to the arc pylons or whatever those things were being down there. Wow. 
him to the house. Yeah, that's what I was afraid of. That stuff that they were talking about earlier negates negates my magic. guys below again they're too evenly spaced I mean you could take the easy way out and just use the darts just use the sleep darts on the roof. Reveal yourself. I know you're here. All right, I won't be catching this red bastard. Yeah, that should just be him. What's the two over there? Yeah, see, sometimes it puts them down gently like you would expect. 
Other times it definitely does not. The obtuse arguments of Lady Boyle. Hundred coin. aren't hooked up to anything, doesn't appear. Always check. Nope, they're dead. It's the only well he's got to be got to be over in that other side
Now the question becomes, where the hell is the person that we're looking for? of stuff in there. That person. Mysteries of Pendicia. I read that one in another location. We already did read that one too. It's a lore, lore books. Appear to be in multiple places. I guess. That's what it looks like. We can try it. Maybe it takes us to the roof. There's another person. I don't know if that's Sokolov or not. Well, the rune's up here. We know that.
turn my hopes and energies to Formula 25, which in conjunction with a high heat therapy, which came to me most vividly in a dream last night, has great potential according to the latest celestial alignment. As for test subject 312, after the characteristic sloughing of the skin, she should be dead by mid-morning tomorrow. Please, sir. Please let me go. Awake, I see. How are you feeling? Much. Much worse. Do I have the plague? Please, sir. I don't want to die. Harsh now. No one's going. Damn it! I need assistance! Now! Wow, that was a lot to go through just to get the one guy. Carry him to Samuel the Boatman under the bridge. But we don't want to let the lady out, for sure. Lieutenant Niles' report, as requested. This is a sample of the black market elixir we believe to be coming from one of the abandoned distilleries. No doubt it's inferior to your formula, even to Piero's remedy. But people are desperate. We have not been able to identify the additional ingredients. Perhaps you'll have better luck. One thing of note, some of the men of the watch claim, when pressed, to have purchased and used this stuff from time to time since it's cheaper than either of the popular brands. None of them report any illness or complications. So so while it might not may not protect from the plague as well, it doesn't seem harmful. Lieutenant Christopher Niles, second dispensary detail, Dunwall City. Okay, so who else is making Well it was um Slackjaw, right? Sokolov here. Excellent progress today. Test subject 312 is declining rapidly. As I theorized, formulas 12 and 17, administered in combination, <coughs> greatly accelerated the progression of the disease. Accelerated? Interestingly, the respiratory mucosa had erupted and raised pustules, grayish in color, <coughs> which burst, <coughs> causing hemorrhaging and pain. I now turn my hopes and energies to Formula 25, which, in conjunction with a high heat therapy, which came to me most vividly in a dream last night, has great potential, according to the latest celestial alignment. As for test subject 312, after the characteristic sloughing of the skin, she should be dead by morning tomorrow. I'm guessing this is her. Yep. I don't have anything to take. Leave me be. Oh God, I got to leave her here. To take. Thank you, whoever you are. He kept me in a cage, like an animal. Pain is horrible right now, so I'll just hide in a corner and leave when I'm feeling better. Okay, well, that's what she said she was going to do. Oh, hey, let's do this. I can't... I can't pick it up while it's... 
see, that's the health elixir. I want the blue stuff. I want the blue pill. Hell, hell are we supposed to get this guy out of here? Oh, really? Can I blink when I'm carrying somebody? Let's try it a short distance for science. Wow, that's cool. Probably why we need the elevator. Now you can play the sound effect. <laughs> We're on express elevator to hell. Going down. position himself. He made a neat job of it. Drop him here and we'll be off. Low chaos again. We missed a rune. Ah, uh, well... Oh, we got the one on the roof, right? Oh, the one in the, uh... There was one in a safe. Didn't have the combination for that. No, no civilians, no alarms. No chaos. That's all I, that's all I really care about. We got just about all the stuff. A little more than half of the coin. Back to the pub. Oh. Getting about that, it makes me wait, or makes me uh, makes me hit the button to go. They set forward. up a cell for Sokolov in the old kennel, shackles and everything. It'll be a shock him waking up in the straw and old dog poop. The 
from what I hear, he's woken up worse places. Guess we all have at that. Martin and Havelock. Well done, Corporal. Well done. I doubt a dozen soldiers could have done it better. Sokolov's knowledge will enable us to strike at the Lord Regent directly, and ultimately help you get your life back. Soon, we won't have to hide in the shadows. The royal physician is brilliant, but he was a fool to protect the Lord Regent. Sokolov gave us the elixir, the war machine. He could have made us a great nation. Now he pays the price for siding with a tyrant. You have my thanks, sir. If you wish to get some sleep, now is a good time. Talk to Piero also. The royal physician Anton Sokolov has been captured. His intimate knowledge of the Lord Regent's support network is sure to be a boon to the loyalists. Sokolov can be convinced to cooperate. I have 3,700 coin. I'm working on a new arc pylon. It will perform absolutely stunning acts of destruction, I expect. Normally, I'm a natural philosopher, but today, consider me a humble craftsman here to serve. Ooh, nice boot stealth. Don't need to buy any of those. Find enough of them out, out in the world. Just in case. Boot stealth, reduced footstep sounds for fifty. Absolutely. Two. Merchant of disorder, buying stuff. You acquired 15 equipment upgrades. Nice. Go ahead and grab that one too, I guess. Nice for busting down some boards when we needed them. Now that we have Sokolov as a guest, ask him how he deluded the Academy into making him royal physician. Ask him how he stole my elixir for me. Will you do that for me? Whatever you do, don't trust Sokolov, especially not on the subject of cetacean anatomy. Why we would need to pick that up, or why it would be laying out like that. If it weren't for Sokolov, I'd be a senior fellow at the Academy. Attention, I... citizens. This evening, the streets adjacent to Pendleton Manor will be closed 
for a private ceremony following the tragic loss of two of our city's best and brightest, the Lords Custis and Morgan Pendleton. All holdings and parliamentary votes now fall to Lord Trevor Pendleton, who asks for respect during this time of mourning. Display your pride in Dunwall by respecting the property and rights of others. Oh, goodness. And preserving the time of our fair city. It's nice to see they keep putting stuff in these rooms. After I buy some, attention, Dunwall citizens. You are required to boil any water from public fountains or the river. Anyone who has consumed untreated water must be reported to the watch. Ice, welcome back. What are you going to see this time? We got uh, oh, about 45 more minutes. We just finished the mission that we were doing when you were here earlier. Long. Where is Emily? She's in here. Gotta be where she is. <clears throat> we were in here before. It's empty. Oh. She is. Please be as quiet as you can. It took forever for Emily to fall asleep. Poor dear. It's okay, Emily. I'm here. She seems happier when you're here. Though I know you have important things to do. Out there in the city. <laughs> the golden cat. There's hardly a need to work on table etiquette. She knows it all, even if she chooses not to employ it. She'd rather hold her spoon by the wrong end and pretend it's a sword. 
Then suddenly she changes and she's all manners, asking for a tea party. I tried to oblige her, but I have little to work with. No proper plates. A soul. Instead of a cloth mm. napkin, I've only the bar rack. Ale mugs instead of teacups. I've asked for things befitting her, but they have their minds on other things. For now, Emily and I decided to make a pretend dinner using paper and little things she's found here and there. On the floor, I suppose. Not right for a princess, but it'll have to do. It's a kid. Come on. Let her be a kid. If you face me right that one. All to the spheres, we do that. Yep, trials suit. Talk to her, right? Please, please leave a candle for me. I it's dark in here, and I, I can't see my mother. I just want a candle. Where is Corvo? No! Mother, run! No! Corvo! <gasps> That's what happened at the very beginning of the game. Her mom got killed. I don't like your eyes. Why are they so black? Stop looking at me. She still has bad dreams, though it's understandable given all she's been through. Sometimes she calls out your name. Sometimes she cries for her mother. Little Emily. Someday soon an empress, but only an exhausted child at the moment. Poor girl. She's been through so much. I hate to say it, but we're counting on you to make things better. I'll stay right here, by her side all night. Corvo, please. What? Sleepy time for Corvo. We get another visit from the outsider. Oh, that reminds me. There's something I forgot to do. I know. To, I was watching my <clears throat> video from last night after I uploaded it to YouTube, and I noticed when we were doing the mission with. Weepers down here. I don't know if it is of any use or not, but there's a switch right here. Opens this gate. Completely missed it. I mean, other than letting me go underneath, I don't know what it's useful for. At least it's open now. Right. Bedtime for Bonzo.
You were making funny faces while you were sleeping. I decided to nap here in your room while Callista was taking her bath. She told me if there's ever trouble, I should always run here. Callista will come get me when she's done with her bath. Thanks, Corvo. It makes me feel better. You actually get to play as her in the second game. She's obviously a grown up than she is here. <clears throat> Skyrim. The Ascendancy Circle has chosen Teague Martin to be High Overseer. Let us all praise their choice. The dance of investiture will take place without delay. I hope Sokolov will cooperate. I'd hope to have him paint my portrait again one day. Just me this time. <clears throat> it's not that I object to holding him hostage for a while, since he's been aiding the Lord Regent, but it's a shame. I always found him rather charming. Anton Sokolov dined with us at the manor several years ago. He is both brilliant and disgusting. I doubt he has changed much. Bringing in Sokolov was a stroke of genius. The Lord Regents got the support of most of the noble families. Who knows what bullying he's done to bring them all in line. We need information to break his hold. Physician. I believe you and Corvo knew each other in former days. Unlike you, our friend Corvo knows what loyalty means. Bah! I am loyal to my inner spirit. You are the one consorting with the most wanted man in the Empire. It's my belief that Corvo was innocent in the death of the Empress. And the former spymaster, or the Lord Regent, as he calls himself, is a ruthless tyrant bent on destroying the city, the heart of the Empire. You are mistaken if you think there's love between me and our Lord Regent. But whatever you intend to do here, I assure you, I am beyond petty scare tactics. If I don't scare you, Sokolov, perhaps these rats will. Even if they don't carry plague, I've heard of a swarm of rats stripping a child's body to the bone in half a minute. I've heard worse. How long do you think it'll be before you talk? Before you beg to talk? Rats? Is that the company you keep now, Admiral? It's the company you keep that interests us so far. Yeah, we know nice. you paint a portrait for the Regent's mistress. The very aristocrat who is funding the military with her fortune. She is the key to the Lord Regent's control over the city, and we must have her name. Sorry, Admiral. I cannot help you. All right, let's get this book first. Whelping and Training Hands. We might have read this one. Now, from each litter, at least somewhere shy of. Wait a minute, four good pups. But we all. Yeah, we read that one. Yeah, we read that one already.
Alright, let's do this. Let's talk to this guy. You're part of this rabble. But I know you have your reasons. Yes, he does. All we need is the name of the Lord Regent's mistress. It's very simple. I elect not to tell you. You will have to force the words from me, and I warn you, my willpower is quite legendary. A curious strategy. Of which I approve. Okay, now we just do this. <laughs> okay. Now we need to talk to Piero. Buy a bribe. Renovation of Caldwell's Bridge will be delayed <laughs> indefinitely. I know it looks. I was inventing a new kind of lock. The tumblers shaped like snowflakes. The truth is, there is no snowflake lock. I was just, you know, looking through the lock. So, you dirty old man? I couldn't bear it if she knew. I know you're a man of honor, and I also know that you can kill me at any time. And for both of these reasons, I apologize and beg for your discretion. It's well known that Sokolov is virtually addicted to a rare liquor called King Street Brandy. The taste is revolting. But I happen to have a bottle. However, oh, great. I am reluctant to give it to you for Sokolov. It cost me quite a lot. It is very expensive stuff. A blend of rare Pendisian spices and a drop of whale oil. Would you care to purchase it? How much is it? Nothing. Attention, Dunwall citizens. Be aware that looting of evacuated areas is a serious offense and will be summarily punished by officers of the watch. Display your pride in Dunwall by respecting the property and rights of others in these trying times and preserving the timeless beauty of our fair city. I'll leave it to you. But if you get tired of questioning Sokolov, I'll let you know that his taste for King Street brandy is legendary. I think Piero has a bottle. It might help persuade him. If not, well, call me if it gets entertaining. Bringing in Sokolov was a stroke of genius. The Lord Regent's got the support of most of the noble families. Who knows what bullying he's done to bring them all in line. I could use a drink. King Street Brandy? I didn't know any more existed. It is an extraordinary gift. I see I'm dealing with men of taste. But I can tell you this much. She was always referred to as Lady Boyle. I painted her to be sure, but I never saw her face or learned her first name. You see, I painted her from behind. I assure you. She's still striking portrait. <laughs> she has a nice tushy, is that what you're saying, sir? Is. I was to be introduced to her at a masked ball in her honor this very night. But I will miss that party, it seems. A masked ball at the Boyle estate. Tonight, <clears throat> the timing is perfect, Corvo. But the Boyles are wealthy and ruthless, so security will be very tight. Of course, 
You already have a mask, don't you, Corvo? He's right. You will be able to mingle with them once you're on the ground. You'll have to find out which of the Boyle women is connected to the Lord Regent and take her out in whatever way you can devise. You're very close now. If you do this tonight, you'll be able to strike at the Lord Regent himself and put Emily on the throne. May the wind favor you. I swear I never saw her face, although I can vouch that her hindquarters are the finest. Hindquarters. And perhaps the Empire itself. Mm. I assume I will remain in this kennel for the duration of your little protest movement. I don't suppose you have anything to read. Wilmot's History of the Lesser Perversions, perhaps? You're mistaken if you think I care a fig for the Lord Regent. The man's neurotic. He's the source of most of our trouble, I suspect. You're a far more interesting person than I took you for, Corvo. One day we'll have quite a conversation. That's the trap door for him. Where does it go? I guess. <laughs> I hear you're off to the Boyle's little bash tonight. I have just a tiny favor I'd like to ask you. Could you give this note to Lord Shaw? You'll know him. A rather brusque man wearing a wolf's mask. In fact, he may be looking for me. I'll lay back there. We're not going to start the party mission today. Save that for Tuesday. Have you ever been in a sea battle? Talk to everybody and then we'll call it a day, I think. Did you ever see pirates? And did you sink any? Of course. Dozens. Oh, yes. But that's not for young girls to hear about. But I will be Empress, won't I? And then I'll have to sink lots of enemy ships myself. And that's what Empresses do <laughs> mostly, isn't it? Of course. I knew it! I read that some pirate ships have witches aboard that can cause storms and make whales do what they want. Is that true? Yes. Uh, mostly. Maybe we should be quiet now. Very well. A masked ball. You happen to have the most clever mask of them all. Entering a hive of aristocrats, all who live to kiss the Lord Regent's backside. I'd rather swim with the hagfish. Lord Pendleton is an exception, of course. The Boyle family is notorious in high society for their decadence and cruelty. I wish you well. Getting in and out of Boyle Manor won't be trivial. You could apply force or guile. Trust your gut in knowing which is the best approach. That thing with the brandy, simply brilliant. It's a simple bribe. Find out what's most important to that person and get it for him. Shouldn't need to talk to Puro again. Martin. 
The High Overseer is supposed to be the most pious man in the Empire, living completely in alignment with the Seven Strictures and guiding the people in the religious faction towards spiritual health. Campbell was a farce. If not for all the blackmail material he accumulated, he'd have never been more than a lower-level initiate among Overseers. The Admiral Lord Pendleton and I have already begun using some of what we've learned from Campbell's Black Book, Corvo. You've given us powerful leverage to get the Overseers on our side. I can't thank you enough. I'll speak to you later. I've got to go through Campbell's journal again. It's incredible. A decade of secrets, betrayals, and observations. Now I understand how such a man rose to the top of the Abbey. at times. Hiding. Attention Dunwall citizens, you are required to boil any water from public fountains or the river. Anyone who has consumed untreated water must be reported to the watch. Say what you will, the royal physician knows his wines. We must admire Lord Pendleton's composure in the face of his terrible loss. Well, he wanted it. <laughs> Probably can't be grieving a whole lot. All right, I guess Emily's not around. Attention Dunwall citizens, anyone with information leading to the location and return of the royal physician is required to speak to the city watch at <laughs> once. Oh, sorry. Can't you see I'm about to bathe? Oh, maybe you'd like company. <laughs> I understand. It was an accident. We have such a hard time maintaining privacy in such a crowded house, don't we? said door didn't say any particular door all right well she's not she's hiding she's playing hide and seek and didn't tell me Samuel, but I thought I saw her go into Hero's Workshop. 
All right, yeah, well, we're going to call it here, I guess. It's only about 15 minutes early, so not so bad. Grab save. Okay, so yeah, that one thing I got to give this game is A, they give you a lot of, and they even mention this, they give you a lot of options on how to complete your missions, especially, you know, different ways to go inside or get to the location that you're trying to get to. So I love that. Love the stealthy aspects, but as I mentioned earlier, when someone else was in here that sometimes they're you know, with your skills and your, your, you know, your runes and your bone charms or whatever, you're supposed to be very quiet when you're in stealth mode. But there are plenty of plenty of instances where somebody has turned around that we've been trying to sneak up on. So not sure about that. But another thing that I like about it so far is the missions are long, long. The maps are huge. So. So yeah, really, really, really good stuff. I can see why it's gotten all the praise that it's gotten over the years. So, but yeah, that's going to be it for the day. Thanks for hanging out with me, everybody. I appreciate it. Uh, the next stream is scheduled for Tuesday, Tuesday at six o'clock Eastern time. And I'm going to shut down before we do that. I'm going to see if there's anybody streaming right now. There may not be, but I have a hard drive to replace in the PC that I run on. So spend time this afternoon doing that I guess it's just Admiral Baru is the only person that I'm following that's on right now so playing dead by daylight so we'll we'll throw a host we'll throw a host his way so yeah that's going to be it for the weekend guys I really appreciate it again and I will see you on Tuesday here's Admiral Baru see you later